So let's continue with this middle part here. Select the faces. And extrude them inwards. Then I would go to extract faces, move them back a little, what we need now is more edge loops to work with again, because um, I will try to create this pattern you can see in here, no it's not this one, this one, this pattern. For that, we need more edge loops, as I said. So go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, Insert One, and then Circus In, Out, and In again. So we need one, two, three, four edges. One, two, three, four. All right. You can scale it a little. Um, and again, the, the pivot is off. We want it to be in the center. You can go to center pivot again. Or another trick is to press D on your keyboard to edit the pivot. And then press V to snap it to the center. Let the keys go. And then you can scale it from here. Take the outer edge loop, bring it in a little. Take this edge loop. Try to create this um, pattern you saw on the picture. First we want to delete these faces in the middle. And then we want to create a sphere that we can um, insert in here. So we want to insert half a sphere so that we can create this round cap. We need to count these edge edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Create your sphere. Rotate it. And then decrease the number of edges to 8. Then move it back. Isolate, select these two um, parts. Shift and I. I think they are not centered right now. Go into the front view. Try to center it. I think it's even more flat. As you can see in the picture. What you need to do now is connect these edges. Um, first of all, you have to connect or merge these meshes. Select them both and go to Mesh, Combine. What you want to do then is Move these edges closer together so that they almost overlap. You want the vertices to overlap. This should be fine. Then you select both edge loops. 
you want to convert your selection to vertices. So you have all these vertices selected. Then you want to go shift, right click, merge vertices, um, merge vertices option box. And there you can set the threshold. You can hit apply and see if they merge already. Oh, they do. So this threshold was already um, good. Or the vertices were in range. So now you have only one vertex here. Which is good. I would like this edge to be a little sharper. So again, I would go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, insert one more edge loop here. So you can see, yeah. So far, so good. I would like um, these edges to be a little closer together. Yeah, and you can make adjustments later on. Um, I think it looks good for now. There are a couple more details, like these screws, for example, or these holes here. But we're going to take care of them later, because we don't have that many polygons yet, and I don't want to increase the poly count up too high now, in this early stage. So for these small details, I would come in later again and take care of them. But for now, let's look at this lower circular shape here. With this lower part here, we basically want to do the same thing. But first, I think I need to adjust the shape a little. And then, you know, just move some edges around. Then extract the faces. Center the pivot again. Um, center pivot. Scale it in. Extrude these edges in again to improve the edge flow. And then I think we can extrude this edge in like this. I think this is actually made out of two parts. This outer ring and then this um, inner ring. Let's try to create it that way too. To stay as close to the real object as possible. So to do that, we need some more polygons.
And I think these faces can be our outer ring, so we extract them. Center the pivot again, somehow when you um, extract those faces it messes up your your pivot or changes the position of your pivot so sometimes you have to recenter it. For this outer ring you um, you want to extrude it because right now if you isolate it it's just flat so shift right click extrude um, extrude it inward like this you can always go into wireframe mode to see what's going on um, on the inside and as you can see this outer ring is now black this is because the faces um, are facing inwards they are flipped we need to reverse the direction of these faces so go to um, I think it's display and then reverse and now it's um it's gray again let's have a look at the picture again This outer ring comes out a little. Um, for this part, we might want to use half a sphere again. And for the other parts, we can just use simple extrusions. There's never only one way of doing this. Um, you can really get creative here. You can do it however you like, whatever works for you, of course. And as I said, especially in this low poly state, it's about it's a lot about moving vertices and edges around until you get the desired results so right now i'm thinking about how to do this round outer ring we could just use simple extrusions or we can we could also use a torus for example um, a primitive another primitive up here created and as I said, there are different ways of doing this. But just to, to show you another method, um, let's do it this way. Rotate it. Then you want to center it or align it with this part here. Press V on your keyboard and snap it. So this center point increase the radius and you need to decrease the subdivisions of course so here we have I think eight again one two three four five six seven eight subdivision axis you want to match that also we don't need that many subdivisions um, in your height so decrease this to 10 as well increase the radius a little more so that it matches um, this area Then you have to delete half of it. You can go into the top view for that. 
if you hit the key F, you frame the object. Then select the faces and hit delete. Go back into your perspective view. And yeah, you can see you have half the torus there. Now we need to connect these two parts again. Um, for that, you can isolate them again. You need to delete these faces. Try to, to match them as good as possible. And what we want to do next is, you probably guessed it, combine these meshes. And then again, we need to merge the vertices. For that, as we did before, um, select these edge loops convert them to um, vertices again merge vertices option box we can try it with this um, threshold here 0 0.05 You can see some of the vertices um, are merged already, but others are not because the threshold, uh, I think this is the distance, is set to low. If we increase it to 0 0.1, it works. And all the, the vertices are within the threshold. Perfect. Close it and there we have our mesh.